our next segment. We get to talk with, via Skype, the last Democratic presidential candidate to jump into the debate. Owner of Cookie's Nail Shop, Cookie's Beauty Supply, and Kong Pao Teriyaki Hamster Restaurant Number 2, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Cookie Monza, via Washington DC. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Cookie, Cookie, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me okay? Cookie, can you hear me? Okay, okay, okay. Cookie, can you tell our viewers where you're from originally? Okay, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. Hmm. Asia, okay? Okay, Asia, okay? I'm from Asia. Okay? Asia. That's it. <laughs> All the Asia. The whole thing. Okay, yeah, Asia, okay. I see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever you are. Okay, I tell you, okay, I tell you everything, okay. I tell you what I do, okay? I make a sweet and sour sauce, okay? I did an orange chicken sauce. And the sesame chicken sauce. And the conga pot, chicken, stop. And I sell it in store, okay? And I get paid across the around the world. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Now, this is a question posed by the Washington Post. How will that, specifically what you said, speak to the diversity of American citizens we have and the different needs one might have outside of needing a sauce for a piece of meat? I mean, there must be, of course, other reasons to run for president other than making sauces for pieces of meat. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cookie, okay, I'm trying to understand this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but your plan to save the policy in America is to create different ethnic Asian sauces and sell them in stores across America? Yeah, yeah, you got it right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you got it right. Okay, I'll tell you, okay, I'll tell you everything, okay? Whenever you're ready. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll tell you, okay? First, I have a Chinese a taco. Then I have a kosher Chinese restaurant. Then I have a halal meat, a Chinese restaurant. And last but not least, I have a, a Chinese a soul food. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. There's some different, different examples that you can present to our viewers at home about how that will be able to somehow change policy in the United States. I do all these things for diversity for the United States election as I run for president of the United States. <laughs> You're running as a Democrat in the presidential election against President Trump. Who is President Trump? Wait, Wait. are you kidding me? The president of the United States. Okay, you don't have to be a bigger bully, okay? What do you think makes you more qualified than the other Democrats running? Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Whenever you're ready. Okay, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Tell us what many items that would be featured at some of these restaurants. For instance, what would you have at the Chinese taco restaurant uh, versus the Chinese soul food restaurant. Okay, now I tell you everything, okay? What we get from first I start with the Chinese taco restaurant, okay? So you get a sweet and sour taco, a hunger power taco, a teddy hockey taco, a sesame sea taco, and an octopus taco. And a egg food a taco. <laughs> by the New York Post stated that some of your restaurants aren't diverse enough.
For instance, if an African American wants to go and get an African American dish, would that be available in a Chinese taco restaurant? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Listen, Cookie, just go ahead and tell us, okay? Okay, 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 yeah, I understand, okay, I'll tell you everything, okay? Okay, so first I have a sweet sour pork chop. Sweet sour pork chop. And then I got kung pao pork chop too. Okay? And I tell you, I have sweet sour chitlin. And a kung pao chitlin. And it's supposed to be a chitlin. Okay. And the alligator. It's sweet as hell. It's sweet as hell. I want it in. Okay. Sweet as hell. I want it in. It's going to be very popular at the Chinese or soul food restaurant. Cookie. <laughs> Cookie, I'm trying to understand this. Correct me if I'm wrong. Your political plan to say policy in America is to make different ethnic Asian sauces and sell them in stores across America? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got the right. Good for you, Adam Lemonade. Oh, oh, but let me not forget, okay? The kids that love the hot no item. A sweet and sour flaming heart. I'm sorry, Cookie, I, we missed that last one. What was the last item you said? We have a flaming hot pool, okay? In the Chinese folk food. And we have a sweet and sour and a conga power flaming hot. Oh, flaming hot. You mean the chip? Oh, yeah. Oh, you want my thing? We have an auntie chicken flaming hot pool, okay? Well, Cookie, it looks like we're out of time, but we would like to have you back in subsequent weeks. I thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah, for what? Thank you for doing the same. I thank you. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Bye. Well, that's it of tonight's episode of The Power of Persuasion. Tune in next week as we visit Cookie in the Capitol, and she explains to us how she's related to Transportation Secretary Elaine Chow. I'm Billy Jackson. <laughs> And after all these years,